Senator Donnelly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, I want to thank the witnesses for being here. And before I ask you a question, I just want to mention that in half an hour at Arlington National Cemetery, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Don Faith um, is going to be uh, interred. He was killed in Korea in 1950, finally came home after 50 plus years in Korea from Washington, Indiana. He served under General Matt Ridgway, uh, was at the Chosin Reservoir. When they were overwhelmed by Chinese forces, his superior was killed, and he personally led the breakout of the troops. He was killed there, um, over 50, never came home. Over 50 plus years later, finally came home. They did DNA testing. They finally figured out who uh, the Lieutenant Colonel was, and in half an hour, his daughter um, and his, the men he served with. Uh, he is at Arlington right now, Congressional Medal of Honor winner. And I just wanted to mention his name and keep him in your prayers and thoughts. He's an American hero. Thank you for mentioning you. that, Senator. Um, and this would be to uh, uh, Secretary Hagel. Um, the Indiana National Guard, uh, we were just off-ramped, a number of them. And uh, it affected over 1,000 of our National Guard members. We had 570 members who were going to the Horn of Africa this month. Um, 446 members were going to Egypt in June. Uh, they're the only ones this has happened to. These two, two units, less than six weeks from, from being deployed, were off-ramped. And they were off-ramped uh, and replaced by active component forces. Um, we are willing to take our share of the hit as we move forward on, on sequestration and on all of these issues. But uh, over 1,000 of these families will lose TRICARE in four days. Uh, 142 soldiers that re-enlisted for deployments, for these deployments, and they were given a re-enlistment bonus, are being terminated and then being asked to re-enlist without any bonus. Um, 60 of these soldiers left their civilian employment, have lost their jobs. Others have had their employers already hire somebody else. They've gone back and their employer said, we want to take care of our soldiers, but what do we do? Um, this has been extraordinarily damaging um, to the families and to our soldiers. And so, uh, as I said, we want to, we are willing to step up and take our hit. We always have been. Uh, but there are only two minimal requests that the Indiana National Guard has made to me. And that is just that the units have 180 days of TRICARE. Um, and number two is that the fellows who were promised a bonus get their bonus. The cost of that is less than a million dollars. And this is simply a matter of keeping our word. Our people, as you've always said, are central to everything we do. They were prepared for the mission ready to go on the mission, got bumped on the mission for active uh, duty forces, and, and all we're asking, uh, they've, many of them have lost their jobs, many of them are losing their health care, and so all we're asking is those minimal things that we be able to do that. Uh, Senator, thank you. Uh, let me uh, ask the, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs to respond to the, the entire right. framework of issues that, that uh, you've noted uh, uh, the off-ramping of the guard, and uh, I'm generally aware of all those uh, those activities. Um, but uh, specifically about your request, um, yeah. I don't know. And, and in particular, these folks were six weeks out and, and had, had, in effect, done all of, had basically done the packing, getting ready, canceling leases, getting the family squared away. And these are just two minimal things that they had asked me to talk to you, that the soldiers had asked me to talk to you about. Uh, I, I don't know what our, Into our, the general. What our yeah. policies are, procedures uh, uh, about these specific issues, uh, I, I will find out. But let me, let me ask the, the, the chairman to respond here sure. uh, quickly to your, your bigger point. But I will look at your last request. And if the comptroller wants to add anything to this, uh, we would welcome him. But we'll look at it, and uh, we'll be back to you on it, Mr. Chairman. Uh, <clears throat> as you say, uh, Senator, the, these off-ramp decisions are they're really 
challenging. Active and guard. And of course, the Truman. You know, some people suggested that we off ramp the Truman to make a political statement. I, I assure you, I wouldn't do that to 5,000 sailors who had the same issues. Families have gone home to live with their parents, terminated leases, sold cars, stopped education courses. And of course, this issue on the off ramping of the, of the Indiana Guard. So you, you have our commitment that when we off ramp, either because of sequestration, and the other reason we're beginning to off ramp some units is, of course, the glide slope in Afghanistan, that we will always have the human dimension of this uh, first and foremost. But I, we'll, we'll go back and work on trying to meet because the Because I think specific after these request. decisions are made, they then said, well, we're not going to do it to any groups less than 120 days before. Well, these, these folks, in effect, ha were the ones who were caught in the middle. That's six weeks out. And so if you could take a look at that, we'd be extraordinarily appreciative of it. And, and General Dempsey, um, in Afghanistan, um, as we draw down, I'm sure you have plans and metrics in place as we're going through this year as well. Um, I wanted to see how we're doing on that, if we are on target, on schedule, and if the transition is moving the way um, that has been planned. It is, and um, we've got what we're calling Milestone 2013 coming up in the, later in the spring, early summer, where right. Afghan security forces will be in the lead across the country. And what that gives us, Senator, is two fighting seasons now to allow them to demonstrate their capabilities while in the lead and us in support. And so we, we will continue to, to know more and more. We're accelerating enablers. We're talking about how long should we keep the Afghan security forces at 352,000. All of those are factoring into what we will recommend for our enduring presence. The, the enduring presence number is not in isolation. It's, it's glide slope. It's a and safe capability. How long we keep them at 352? How successful are we at providing enablers? And these two fighting seasons of experience. So I think we're in a pretty good place right now. Thank you very much.